The Los Angeles Dodgers have been attracting attention by being linked to Josh Hader, the star closer of the moment. With the offseason in full swing, the Dodgers emerge as one of the possible destinations for this talented left-handed player. Hader, coming off a spectacular 2023 season, has demonstrated his value as one of the league's best closers. His impressive numbers, totaling 33 saves with a very low ERA of 1.28, put him on the radar of teams with crucial bullpen needs. The absence of an established name as a closer on the Dodgers team intensifies rumors about the possibility of bringing Hader in to reinforce this vital position. However, a crucial question arises, the cost of this hiring. But first, like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive the latest news from LA. Some sources suggest that Hader is seeking a significantly large contract, possibly surpassing Edwin Diaz's contract with the New York Mets, valued at a whopping $102 million over five years. The question is whether the Dodgers are willing to invest so much in a replacement for that key position. Recent analyses, like that of CBS Sports' Jim Bowden, bring the Dodgers, Rangers and Yankees closer together in the fight for Hader. These teams share a similar need to reinforce their bullpens, highlighting the importance of this player in this competitive market. Kenley Jansen's departure in 2021 forced the Dodgers to take a more collective approach to closing games. Evan Phillips has emerged as a standout, but there is speculation about his use in a more versatile role, challenging the traditional closing structure. While Hader is an undeniably talented addition to the bullpen, questions arise about his fit with the Dodgers' playing philosophy, especially after reports of his preference for specific defensive situations. Andrew Friedman, the Dodgers' president of baseball operations, has a clear policy regarding paying high fees for relievers. Its history with signings like Kenley Jansen in 2016 for $80 million over five years indicates an exception to the rule. The discrepancy between Hader's expectations and Friedman's financial approach could indicate an impasse in the negotiation. Furthermore, the team's satisfaction with the bullpen's flexibility and current configuration suggests that the connection between Hader and Los Angeles may not come to fruition. Now we want to hear from you, what is your opinion on this possible move by Josh Hader to the team? Do you think he would be an essential piece to consolidate the bullpen or do you see costs as an impediment? Leave your opinion in the comments below.